Under the That's what I'm trying. Keep going, keep going. Nice. There you go. I think I got one here. Oh, I heard a splash. Yeah, he came in real slow. Did you, get him? Did you hit him? Hmm? Let's see here. You at least he's beyond there. At least saw one. One zipping it. Yeah, I got him. Oh, you got him? I got him. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh shit. yeah, direct shot. There we go. This one. Yeah. Let me get a picture of that. Okay, so this guy will fillet up here. And then that's the one I speared. I already got that one filleted. So there we got our meat. But uh, happy to get a couple pike. There we go, one real nice filet. Just gotta skin it, but again, not worrying about Y bones because we're gonna pickle. All right, so we're gonna start the process for pickling fish here. So we got the nice fillets that we cleaned, and so a uh, step that I did not show is you need to freeze fillets. Uh, if you're gonna pickle something, uh, the pickling process actually won't kill if there's parasites or anything like that, which is a little surprising. But you need to make sure that you freeze your fish for at least a solid like three days. Uh, they need two days of being at least at zero degrees and obviously it takes time to freeze in the first place so you want to give it three days to make sure that it hits at least the 48 hours below zero degrees. So freeze your fish then you can pickle. So we got these thawed now and we're just gonna chunk them up into bite-sized pieces Basically one inch by one inch is about what you're going for, but whatever size you like for your pickled fish. And uh, we'll go on from there.
And again, you'll feel the Y bones, but pickling will dissolve those and so you don't need to worry about them. So you'll feel them as you cut, but that's just fine. So now you can see we got these chunked up nicely, just little bite-sized squares, and uh, that's what you want, whatever size is a mouthful for you is what you're trying to go for. And now uh, we got to put it into our container to uh, start pickling, so water and salt is the first step, so we'll get to doing that. Next step here is uh, adding salt. So we cut up our fish, which I had roughly four pounds. I uh, got that all cubed up. You add just enough water to cover, uh, so you want to measure it. And so I had uh, six cups of water, and then for every cup of water, you use a quarter cup of salt. So I need a cup and a half of salt, and I have some uh, pickling and canning salt, but uh, table salt works. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You just want fine grain, just so it dissolves easy, but you don't really need to worry about salt. You know, whatever you have on hand is fine. You don't need to be too exact, but... So. Let's dissolve what's in there. Alright, so... Fish. Six cups of water, cup and a half of salt. I'll uh, mix that all together here. And then you're going to put this in the fridge uh, for two to three days. Uh, you know, it just depends on how thick your fish pieces are. If they're on the thicker side, you want to give it three days. These aren't too bad, so I'm probably just going to give it two. Uh, and then at least once a day, you want to give it a stir just to mix things up and make sure your salts are dissolved and everything is getting the salt work through it good. But uh, that's it for this stage, so in a couple days we'll check back and uh, move on with our pickling process. So we're on to the next stage here. So we've had our pike sitting in the brine for two days now, so I'm gonna dump that out, so... Into our colander, give it a rinse. And technically you don't have to rinse at this stage, but I like to just so I'm getting most of the salt off, obviously. It's uh, absorbed a bunch just from sitting in it, so you don't need a bunch just sitting on the outside. But it's up to you whether you want to rinse it at this stage or not. That looks pretty good. So now we just put it back into our pail or bowl, whatever you're using. And then uh, add your vinegar. And at this point, uh, you don't need to measure, so you're just adding until everything's covered again. So it was two days in the salt brine, it'll go two days in vinegar, and then we make our actual pickling solution. So there we go, we'll put our lid back on and throw it in the fridge for another couple of days and then we'll be good. Well, now we're ready to make our pickling brine and you'll want to do this a little bit ahead of time because you need it to cool before you put your fish in it. You don't want to cook your fish. So let's go ahead and get that started. Two cups sugar. Four cups white vinegar. Thank you. 
<clears throat> two cups of wine, white wine, and uh, there's no reason to break the bank here. I just pick up the cheapest bottle I can find. And so either uh, white wine or some people like a dry sherry. And we're going to do two cups of that. And then we've got pickling spice. And this is just a generic pickling spice I picked up from the grocery store. Uh, you can make your own, it's all kinds of different options, kind of personal preference. But I just went with a generic one. So we're going to do four tablespoons of the pickling spice. Alright, and that's all there is to it, and now we uh, mix it and put it on the stove. We got our mixture boiling here, so you're going to give it five minutes, and then you'll take it off and let it cool. So stir your mixture together, bring it to a boil, boil it for five minutes, and then let it cool to room temperature before you put everything in jars, that way you're not going to cook your fish. And I'll put the recipe for this in the description if anyone wants to use it. Alright, so our next step here, now that we have the pickling brine made, is to drain our fish. So this has just been sitting in vinegar for the last two days, so we're just going to drain it. And if you didn't rinse after the salt brine, you can rinse now, otherwise you don't need to, but you certainly can. But uh, we're ready to go into our pickling brine, ready to put in jars. Alright, and we're ready to do our final process here, which is getting everything in jars. So, I layer onion, which you don't have to do if you don't want, but I like to add onion. You can add garlic, otherwise you don't need to add anything. Then add fish, and then you're just alternating between the two. So, layer of fish, layer of onion, layer of fish, layer of onion, until you got your jar filled up. And then we add our liquid. And you can strain the liquid if you want, uh, otherwise it's just going to add a little bit stronger flavor the longer it sits if you don't. So I usually don't bother. And then you're going to want to have this sit in the fridge for about a week before you eat it, is usually my preference. So we got onion, we got fish, we got our pickling liquid. Throw a lid on there, stick it in the fridge, and in a week you'll have some really nice pickled fish.